Hello everyone, my name is Tech Weasel, and I think I have figured out how to make magic in Roblox Studio. And I'll be showing you how through this multi-part series, and um, things are about to get a bit more advanced. Before we get into this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications whenever I make a new video. Anyway, in the last video, we made summoning spells. We've got our first spells, specifically this. And if you stuck around for the end and did kind of the challenge at the end, you might even have a working beacon spell, but that was a bit more advanced and I didn't really go through how to do it. So now we'll show you how to make some more advanced summoning spells. If you're unaware what I mean when I say summoning spells, I mean a spell that creates an object and then possibly even makes it move from there. And no, that does not mean shooting a beam or something. Those are different types of spells. I'll give you some examples of my best summoning spells right on screen right now. The ones I'll be showing you how to do today, I'll start by going over the beacon I basically skimmed over in the last video, just showing you a bit of a more advanced way to do it before moving on to more things like this, where it spawns below your feet rather than you directly, and even getting into force fields. Let's get straight to it. The first one is the most basic, the force field. An easy way to do this is just to use the same summoning script, but instead on a big sphere. Now, of course, you would normally go through the sphere to make it a literal force field material rather than messing around with transparency. But, um, not in this case. Because the difference here is that we're going to duplicate it. Make the walls pretty thick so they can really withstand attack and no players clip through them. And then, of course, what do we do? We make this a negate. We hover over the two, and we union them. And once it loads, we'll have cut a circle in our hole. There we go. Simple as that. Only, only problem is that I unioned the previous force field, so... <laughs> uh. Let me try that again. You also want to be sure to check this use part color or else... It's not really going to be blue, but rather just set to a default gray whenever you clone it. Okay, so we're going to name this... Oh, we're going to name this Force Field. And then, of course, duplicate our summon script. Duplicate it. And change it to say Force Field. And other than that, it's all done. You can then change two things. You can change the price variable and the amount of time before it despawns. I made mine pretty expensive. It takes 50 magic power to create a shield. I'm not joking around with these shields. So, use that and we get this. It's hard to see, but it's there and my camera is getting squeezed because of it, we are now inside a force field. One way to make sure it's more visible is make a whole lot of them. You can tell it's there now, can't you? Yeah. So, that's pretty good. I want to show you how to do one more thing. This rock pillar. So, this rock pillar is pretty big, 500 pixels to be exact. If we just spawn that in the player, can you guess what would happen? Write your guesses down in the comments below. I'm just kidding, no one ever does those YouTube challenge comment things. I, I should know, I always ignore them and I check the comments and everyone else does as well. Anyway, no, 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 no. What would actually happen is the middle of it would be in the middle of the player. So we have to subtract half of it by the height, so that it appears the top of it is at the player. And I have an example right here. 
it goes to the player position minus vector three dot new zero and then in the y axis 250 zero looks pretty good so um that's basically everything you need to know to make more advanced sp spawning and summoning but one more thing that you can note is i played around with anchoring a bit and that's how i got the fallen cubes okay here i'm on the pillar see these cubes yeah you can literally just spam them and walk through the air well those actually aren't not anchored they are anchored for a couple seconds before falling and while it may not be very easy to tell that without that you would actually fall immediately so sometimes you need to come up with creative solutions that might just be your magic solution thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll make a part four or make another video soon please subscribe hit the bell for notifications comment on any videos you would like and uh couldn't help to like the video am i right Anyway, see you all. Thanks for watching. Bye!